welcome to Cooking with Johnny Burnett, back in my kitchen in Bristol for the first part of a fantastic partnership with Thatcher's Cider. Here it is, you can see it, absolutely gorgeous. And today we are doing a fantastic pancake recipe. We are using this lovely Thatcher's lemon and we're gonna make a Thatcher's lemon and banana caramel top pancake with some gorgeous melted Nutella on the top. It's absolute calorific heaven and it's a boozy little pancake day treat for you to enjoy with the family. So the first thing we're gonna do is go off and make the pancake mix. What you need to make the pancake mix is 150 grams of plain white flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. Sieve it into a mixing bowl, crack in two organic free range eggs and add 300 milliliters of full fat milk. Give it all a good big whisk. Whisk it through to it's nice and smooth and no lumps of flour on there. And after you finish whisking it, we're gonna pop it to one side and rest for 20 minutes. If you don't rest, you're gonna give yourself some trouble. So leave it to rest, 20 minutes, have a break. Then we're gonna come back and cook these lovely pancakes and we're gonna make the gorgeous banana and lemon caramel as well. So when the pancake mix has rested for at least 20 minutes, we're gonna add two teaspoons of caster sugar in there just before we cook it. It just gives it a sweeter pancake taste. Now you wanna get a non-stick frying pan onto heat. Get it very hot. When the pan is hot, you're gonna add some olive oil into it. And then you're just gonna rub the olive oil around with some paper towel. This enables the pancake mix not to stick to the bottom of the pan and cause one hell of a mess. You wanna add two big ladles of the pancake mix into the pan. Once you get it in the pan, give the pan a good twirl and mix around to make sure you've covered the whole pan and that is evenly coated. You wanna cook this pancake mix for at least one minute to one and a half minutes on the first side, making sure you're edging yourself around the edge of the pancake with a spoon or a spatula to again make it easier for you to flip. After a minute or a minute and a half, turn the pancake around, do it whichever way you feel most comfortable. I'm not confident enough to flip it, so I'm gonna move mine with a spoon or a spatula. Now we're just gonna pop the pancakes into the oven so they stay nice and hot for when the caramel's ready and we serve. Okay, so now the pancakes are in the oven. We're gonna make this banana and lemon caramel. It's so delicious and it's so simple to make. You literally need light brown sugar, water, Thatcher's lemon, and bananas. It's that simple and it's amazing. So let's get on and make this. So first up, what you want is you want to get your light brown sugar into a pan and then we're going to add the water straight away. Give it an initial whisk until everything's been nice and combined. Whisk for about 10 seconds. And then we're just going to let it come up to a nice boil and you're going to see naturally, you're going to see it all thicken up and this is going to take around three to five minutes, okay? So let it thicken up, get the heat nice and high. Whilst that's thickening up, we're going to grab our banana, cut it in half at an angle. You use one again in half, so you get that nice traditional banana split shape. And then for the other, we're just going to cut nice chunks out of it, okay? So that's enough for one person. I'm making mine for two, so I'm going to get another banana as well. Whilst your caramel gets to this boil, what you want to do is add one teaspoon of butter in there. Mix that butter through, and now we're going to add in three tablespoons of our lovely Thatcher's lemon. So now that's in there, going to let it boil again, just for 30 seconds or so, and then we add in our banana. What we're looking for here is to give that banana a caramelization and a lovely, lovely sweet taste. Let's flip our bananas around. You can see it's got such a beautiful glaze on there. So your bananas are nearly ready. They've been on here now for about a minute, maybe just over a minute. Needs another 20 seconds, then we take off the heat and we're gonna heat some Nutella up in the microwave to drizzle over and it's gonna be incredible. Pop off the heat and I'll reduce that a little bit more. And now I just wanna get a nice, good bit of Nutella into a tub ready for the microwave. Got two big old tablespoons in there. Get it off the spoon, pop in the microwave till it's nice and melted down. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get these pancakes out of the oven. Here they are, beautiful. Pop them on your plate, roll them like a nice cigar. They look elegant, they look classy. Proper American style here. And now we've got this beautiful caramelized banana here. So we're just gonna pop these on top of the pancakes. Mm. 
This smells so good right now. Now, you want to get that nice warm Nutella just on the side so you can enjoy it. Banana, chocolate, and made better with Thatcher's cider, the lovely lemon. Now for the crowning glory. To pop the lovely caramel sauce all around. And if you want to make this calorific pancake a little bit healthy, we can even pop on some lovely fresh fruit and strawberries, some blueberries. This looks like something you're gonna get straight for an American diner. And there you go, a beautiful pancake mix with a flavor, fruits, chocolate, and Thatcher's lemon. What more do you want? Never has one man been more excited to eat some pancakes than this. I absolutely love bananas. I love cider, I love chocolate, and I bloody love pancakes. Wow, 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 wow. This hits every single flavor going. I mean, you can see that hint of a batch of cider and lemon in there. The bananas are just, oh, they're just raw. What more do you say? And wash it down with a lovely batch of lemon as well. Enjoy this recipe. Catch you next week for Cooking with Johnny Burnett.